Hi, my name's Kylie from Little Moo Designs. Thank you so much for joining me on my YouTube channel today. You can follow me on my social media media channels at Instagram and Facebook. I also have an awesome Facebook group called Little Moo Design Socialist where we share our makes and chat all things Little Moo Designs patterns and you can ask questions and all of that fun stuff. I'd love for you to share my videos and hit subscribe to my channel so I can keep making awesome content to help your bag making journey. Have a great day. Happy sewing and I hope you enjoy this tutorial. Hi everybody, it's Kylie from Little Moo Designs. Thank you so much for joining me today. Today's tutorial is all about fussy cutting your tainted love clutch and working with directional fabrics. So just a few little notes before we begin. When you print your pattern pieces, please make sure the one inch test square prints correctly. If it doesn't, you'll need to adjust your printer settings until it does or take the pattern pieces to a print shop so that they will get it right for you. If the one inch test square is off it means that your clutch will be um, too big or too small for the precise measurements that are in that pattern for the zippers so it is really important especially for your first few that you have the correct size pattern pieces once you have the correct size pattern pieces and you've joined them all together and you're ready to rock and roll i like to make um a i guess a bit more of a permanent uh, or durable type pattern piece and something that helps me with fussy cutting so if you haven't seen before this is called template plastic and you can just get this from your local quilting shop you can also use those plastic chopping boards that you get from uh, your local supermarket or cheap shop and what this does is it allows me to um, really hone in on the design that I have and make sure it's all in the right place so because I have this, I make this clutch so often, I actually had an acrylic version made. So you can see what this allows me to do is to really uh, focus on where I want my standout prints and make sure everything's sitting where it needs to sit. Now let's talk quickly about directional fabric. So directional fabric is easy to work with and looks super effective um, on this front panel here because we're folding our clutches down here like so. But the part that is sometimes tricky is getting it right on the back exterior piece. So you can see here, I've got my main feature is the sewing machine on this Tula pink fabric. And when I turn it over, I've got directional fabric here. So what I actually did, had I have cut this out, I would have had sewing machines going the wrong way on the back. And I didn't want that to be the case. I also didn't have enough sewing machines, but I had some of this gorgeous sewing machine, sewing machine, sewing measuring tape. Um, fabric here where the numbers are actually up the right way so what I did I added on a half inch seam allowance here so I use the dotted line on my pattern pieces if you can see that'll be easier to see on your print version um, this is where generally it will fold so I added a half inch um, to both of these pieces joined them together right sides folded them out and top stitched to get that beautiful finish so that it was all sitting exactly where I wanted it to sit. So if you're using directional fabric, please have a play with it and get it right because that's the part that will really stand out with your, with your clutch. Uh, the other thing is on your pattern piece, you'll see a little cross on your pattern piece. That's the suggestion of where we might put a little connector tab um, if you want to add a tassel or a wrist strap later on. So I've just made that as per the instructions in the um, pattern and I've just added it. Now you would usually add that onto the front but it doesn't really matter because everything gets sandwiched together anyway. You can see I just marked where that was to go uh, but place it on the back which is fine so please add that at this point as well so yeah today's video was just to discuss with you fussy cutting you can cut you can mix up um, and and spin your fabric around to get it the right way um, but yeah I think that looks pretty good and I'm ready to to sew so I've now got my completed zip now got everything cut out ready to go so I'll be back to show you how to do the zip pocket section and how to attach the zip to a curved edge in the next videos. Thanks so much, guys. Have a great day. Bye.